I'm calling to volunteer for an overactive bladder study. Thank you for calling Clinical Research Center of Nevada. This is Pat. How can I help you? Yes, I'm calling about your overactive bladder study. Now, what is required to take part in this exactly? Um, the study requires <clears throat> three office visits and two telephone calls. Right. I, on a medication for overactive bladder. Well, I mean, do you need to know about my history with uh, my bladder and whatnot, my bladder problems? I, I didn't get there yet. It's um, on a medication for right. overactive bladder. Yes. Because, it listen, well, I, I mean... Well, if I could tell you right now, I mean, I, I constantly, I have a problem, a situation, I wet the bed constantly. I mean, even this morning, I had to change my underpants. Okay. I mean, and there the were... The study is on a medication, a new medication right. for overactive bladder. So this is going to... percent of the people will get a placebo, and 80% will get the medication. It, you'll be required to take about 8 to 10 tablets per day. Right, so this is going to stop my overactive bladder situation. I mean, right now I'm even, like, I have a, a no, problem. this is a study on a medication. Like, what does the medication do exactly? Is this going to make me uh, pee my pants less? Because, I mean, even when I'm in the grocery store, in line, trying to purchase products and whatnot, occasionally I will get leakage. It'll seep through even my underpants. I mean, this is a heavy stream. Well, this is, <clears throat> this is a clinical trial on yeah. a new medication. The, and and the, what does the medication do exactly? What, what are you hoping the results will be? The medication for people with overactive bladder. I mean, I'm I'm at the point where I'm I'm heavily considering wearing Depends undergarments. I mean, that's that's the problem here. I mean, well, if you were looking for help, I right. suggest you go to a doctor for. Well, that that's the problem. But if I don't... you wanna do a trial on the new medication, I can ask you the screening questions. We can put you in the trial. Yes, let's let's get with the questions. I'm ready. Uh, are we going to do that right now? If you have time. I have time. Let's let's do this. Okay. How long have you had overactive bladder? I would say for the better part of uh, my whole life. I mean, I would have got this checked out. I do not have insurance. I mean, I thought it was a natural thing. How many? I'll ask you two questions. Yeah. One is how many times do you urinate per day? The I, other is do you get up at night? If so, how many times? I've, I've counted it before in at least 30 times a day. I mean, I'm, I'm going a couple of times okay. an hour, and two, three night? times an hour. At night, sometimes I wake up, I have to go to the bathroom. You know, especially if it's it's more towards the morning hours and there's, you know, the male situation where it will no, be... No, just the amount of times that you wake up in the night. Probably around three to four times at night. Three to four. Yeah, that's right. Okay, how would you rate your bladder condition? Minor, moderate, or severe? I would say severe. I mean, I'm at the point where I, I feel like I might have dripped a little bit. Are you taking medication? No, I, I'm, well, unless you consider alcohol medication. It's got me really depressed, this bladder situation. I drink often. You're, you're I, I call it self-medication. Well, I call that self-medicating with the alcohol. Okay. But, I mean, it, it's up to you whether or not it's medication. Have you ever taken Tovia? I, I don't even know what that is. I thought you said, for a second, I, th I thought you just said, have you ever taken it in the ass? And, and obviously not. But I, I guess you're saying that's a medication? No, I've never taken Tovia. that. Tovia. Tovia? No. Okay. I thought you said cover you your ass. I will if there's a homo around. Drugs. An al allergy? No, I mean, I've shot heroin before. I I've taken, uh, you know, ecstasy. So, I mean, I got Are you no... allergic to peanuts or soybeans? Uh, I'm allergic to, uh, no, neither one of those. Now, for a second there, I thought you said nuts, meaning testicles. And obviously you have it narrow angle glaucoma. I do not have, I don't even know what that is exactly. Are you participating in the bladder training program? Uh, I'm trying to train my bladder, but it's it's uh, not, you know, listening to me. It's going off all the time, emptying itself out in embarrassing situations like at the movies, at the dentist, on dates. I even urinate in my in my pants. I have Do to you have a myself. urinary tract infection? I may. I mean, it burns sometimes occasionally when I urinate. I don't know if that's a sexual okay. thing, if that's an STD. Well, then that, that's kind of... Uh... 
but I'm sure it's You're not. You're not going to be able to participate in the study. I can't participate in the study? No, not if you have a urinary tract infection. Well, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I mean, I probably don't, you know. I mean, I want to participate. You, it burns. Well, I mean, occasionally when I try to force out the urine. Sometimes I, you know, I, time is of the essence. I want to hurry up and get out of the bathroom. And I'll just, uh, you know, force the urine and it burns well, when I do that. Okay, but I don't think that's going to allow you into the study. What well, I can do is take yeah. your information um, and right. put you in our database for future studies. For, well, I need, I really need to get into this study. I mean, is there anything I could do? Any kind well, of arrangement? I, I, I'm trying to explain to you. This right. is not a cure. I mean, I'm willing, listen. What we do yeah. is we do clinical trials on new medications yeah. so it can come out on the market. Listen, I'm and willing. The companies have their um, requirements that they need. Well, I will, I will make sweet love to you if that's what it takes to be, to be a participant in this. I will perform oral no, on you. you. Have to, you have to. Listen, uh, I will, I will give you, life. listen, I will perform cunnilingus on you if that gets me in the study. Just ha -ha, face on your vagina like a retarded windshield wiper. I'll do whatever it takes. Listen, I want to be part of this. Hello? Hello? Are you there, madame? Hello, hello? 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 Um, if you'd like to uh, uh, register for future studies... I mean, I listen, listen. Research. This is the study for me, baby doll. I mean, this is what I got, overactive bladder. I mean, I'm I... I'm sorry, but I'm trying to explain... Oh, damn it, I just no urinated problem. all over down my leg. F, F, man. I just urinated down my leg. See, this is the reason I need this study. I just now, but as I'm, I'm talking to you... I'm trying to explain to you yes? the study requirements what the company has put out. Only people that can qualify what their qualifications are. Well, listen, I will give you a lap dance with my banana and, and you know, apples all in your face if that's what it takes to get in this study. Hello? She just hung up. Let me... No, I, I don't believe she hung up. That was a an, an accidental disconnect. I will call her back once. I don't know what happened. I just said, talked about lap dance, banana, apples in her Thank face. Thank you for calling Clinical Research Center of Nevada. This is Bree. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to take part in your, uh, your overactive bladder study. Okay, great. Yeah, so I mean, I got bladder problems. I was just, uh, I got disconnected earlier. I was talking to one of your operators and I... You know, I urinated down my leg again. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's why she disconnected. I, I was very upset about it. I cursed a little bit, and perhaps I offended her. I apologize. But, I mean, I, I do want to take part in this study. Okay. So, I mean, how, how do we make this happen? Well, I can go through a questionnaire and see if you qualify. All right, let's do it. Let's get on this. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting a note here. Did you... Did you say that you had pain when you urinate? No, not at all. I mean, that must have been somebody else. I definitely don't have that. You don't have pain when you urinate? Not, none, none whatsoever. Okay, what is your name? My name's Todd, T-O-D-D. -D. Do you have a middle initial? M. And what is your last name? Lebod, it's French, L-E-B-O-D. What is your address, Todd? Uh, 1345 Lincoln Center, Las Vegas. What is your apartment number? 22. And it's 89. Zip code? I, I'm not familiar. I just moved here from, uh, uh, you know, the California from, uh, so okay, I mean, how did you, I, I saw this, I saw it on Craigslist, volunteers. I mean, I see you're looking for volunteers for this, this whole thing. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, this is, uh, this is the study for me. So, I mean, I, I'm willing to, uh, step in, volunteer my time. Very heroic. Also, because again, I have the overactive bladder, uh, problem. And what is your phone number? My phone number is 702-894-9164. Do you have an email 
Todd? I do not have an email. I just, uh, you know, again, moved to the area. I had to leave my computer behind and whatnot, so. I actually found the ad on the library computer. So, I mean, that's where I was. What you about know. your date of birth? Uh, 10, 18, 80. And how old are you? I'm 31. What is your height? I'm 5 foot 9. Weight? 180 pounds. What is your race? My race? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm partial to the 40 yard dash myself. I, I guess you're asking, uh, I'm Caucasian, if that's what you mean. Alright, are you a smoker? A smoker? Uh, you know, no. I mean, I've, I've puffed the occasional cigar, you know, a la Bill Clinton style, you know what he did back in the day, but as far as cigarettes and whatnot, no. Weed, I've smoked weed uh, a few times. Okay, when is the last time you smoked weed? I would say roughly like two years ago, I would say. Have you participated in any other clinical trials? I, I donated sperm once. Now, I don't know if you would consider that a clinical trial. Did that a couple of times. You know, I didn't really have any job skills aside from uh, self-gratification. And I knew I could take that and then, you know, get some money for that. So, I, you know, I donated at a sperm bank a few times. Okay. Have you done that in the last 30 days? I have not. It's been a, a good eight, nine months since I did that last. Okay, have you had Botox? No, I've, I've never had... I've dated women who had Botox injections in their lips, breast implants, things... But I mean, that's nothing that I could catch, I don't think. I don't think that's transmittable, so... Okay, besides overactive bladder, do you have any other conditions? Uh, no, no, I, I do not. Okay, what medications are you currently taking? I'm, I take Viagra. I, not, I haven't taken it lately. It's been a good six months, but I mean, I used to take Viagra... Again, so I, that I could perform at the uh, sperm donation center because I found it hard to get aroused at, at the center. Even though they offered magazines and films, just being in the room with, with all that pressure on me, you know. So I would take that a good half hour before I went there, that, the few times that I donated uh, sperm there. Are you allergic to any medication? I am, I am not, no. I've been with girls that were allergic to certain brands of condoms that I've had, but again, I don't think that's a transmittable situation. How long can, well, how long have you had the overactive bladder? Oh, years, several years, maybe my whole life. I, I go 30 some odd times a day. I've counted it a couple of times, just, you know, two, three times an hour I go to the bathroom. How many times a day do you go? Uh, 30-ish, 30 30-ish, 30 30-something times a day, I'd say. Do you get up at night to go? I do. A good three, four times during the, the evening hours I will get up, have to go. And again, even in the morning when I get up and there's that morning erection situation, I mean, I go like all over my wall. It's like a diving board. So, I mean, you know, it's very, uh, you know, embarrassing. How would you rate your bladder condition? Minor, moderate, or severe? I would say severe. I mean, again, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm considering Depends undergarments. I mean just so I don't have to go to the bathroom. It's affecting my job. People think I'm faking going to the bathroom just so I can hang out in the bathroom. They think I got some sort of social anxiety, like I don't want to be around people. Like, like I don't know why I would... If the one place I don't want to hang out is the bathroom, that disgusting odor, that, that vile smell and whatnot. So, I mean, again, I've been considering the depends just so I don't have to go to the bathroom. I can just do it right there, you know, change at lunchtime, possibly. You know, something like that. Okay, do you have any drug allergies? Drug allergies? No, I mean, I've taken a few drugs back in my day, and I didn't seem allergic to them. I mean, it's been a good couple of years, so. Okay, are you allergic to peanuts or soybeans? I am not. No, not at all. Do you have narrow angle glaucoma? Uh, no, I, I used to think that I did a few years ago. That's why I, I smoked so much weed, but turns out I didn't. I guess I just really enjoyed pot. Okay, for this study, you'll have to take a drug test. Are you, you will you pass a drug test? Oh, you yeah, definitely. I mean, I got I got urine to take ten different drug tests if you want. I mean, that's how much I go a day. Are you participating in any bladder training program prescribed by a doctor? I am not. Have you had any urinary tract infections? No. Never. Never. Never in my whole life. 
study medication on a daily basis? Will I what? Uh, Will you take oral study medication on a daily basis? Oral stu I've studied quite a bit of oral, how to give oral, how to receive it online. You know, I, you know, I, what's that? I'm sorry, maybe I misunderstood the question. I might have misunderstood the question. Go ahead. Sir, if another sexual reference is brought up, I will have to terminate this call. I, well, I apologize. I, I, misunder I misinterpreted the question, I believe. Go ahead. Can you repeat it? Will you take oral study medication on a daily basis? Yes, I will take the medication. Are you on any anticholinergic or antispasmodics? No. Do you take any CYP34A inhibitors? No. What about grapefruit juice? Do you take that? Why well, I I, uh, I do only because I hear it enhances the the flavor of of sperm. I, I've read online, so... Thank I, you for calling, sir. What? Hello? 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 Oh! She just hung up. I guess I'm not going to be part of the study. Terribly disappointed. But, uh, life goes on. I'm going to have to buy the Depends undergarments. Till next time. Boom!